Hello, dear friends. Thank you so much. It's indeed a pleasure to be back yet again with another exciting video that we would like to share with you today. And we are talking about uh, the mixed scholarship for the year 2025, uh, which is usually offered through uh, the embassy recommendation, the Japanese embassy in your country, that you may need to actually uh, submit an application to initially so that you are then nominated to proceed with the application process and so you can see that we are on the website for study in japan and this uh, scholarship dear friends is for undergraduates uh, so we can see that this is the next scholarship for the year 2025 and it's through the embassy recommendation so application for undergraduate students embassy recommendation so you can see here it's highlighted the embassy recommendation procedure and so recruitment for those arriving in japan next april is made between april and may of the previous year so first screening is conducted between may and august by the japanese embassies or consulates general so which means you need to submit an application to your respective Japanese embassy. So as the application process and specific schedule differ according to the country of your nationality, so please inquire with the Japanese embassy or consulate general in your home country. So do not send any application documents directly to Next in Japan. And so to look at the specific Japanese embassy, you have this particular link here where you can click and be able to access the respective embassies by country. So you can see these different countries with their respective uh, Japanese embassies that you may need to contact if you are interested in this particular scholarship opportunity. So you are looking at studying some of the programs that have been highlighted. Let me just show you some of these programs that they are actually offering at this you know, in this particular scholarship opportunity. So there is uh, social sciences and humanities. So you can see all these different uh, programs uh, including what they highlight here as law, politics, literature, history, uh, sociology, then Japanese language, business administration, economics, and you can see accounting and financial economics. And then on the other hand, we have natural uh, sciences that, that have been highlighted here, anything that comes from science like mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry as single majors, and then there's electri electric and electronic studies, electrical engineering, and then all the way to uh, medicine and dentistry. So you can see all these different uh, opportunities that are coming to you. Now, you actually would be able to download this particular document to be able to actually look at it in greater detail but let me just uh, show you something here when you look in this particular document here so it stipulates all the procedures and even additional information that you may need to know qualifications and all that for you to apply to this particular program and the visa requirements and then if you, uh, those that are not eligible to apply to this particular scholarship opportunity. And also, in addition to that, it highlights scholarship benefits. And that is one that I usually get concerned about. And I tend to want to, want to highlight that information quite a lot because uh, finding scholarship opportunities such as these are quite rare. And so when you come across them, you want to make sure that you share them widely so that other people can actually benefit from scholarship opportunities at undergraduate level. Most of the times we are able to find lots of scholarship at master's, PhD, but when it comes to you know undergraduate, it's quite rare. And so it's important that those individuals that come across some of these scholarship opportunities take advantage of those opportunities. So you can see that there's allowances which are you know going to be provided per month then there's supplemental regional allowances, uh, which have been highlighted at 2,000 yen or 3,000 yen per month, which will be added to the monthly scholarship amount 
the grantees studying or conducting research in a specialty designated regions. And then education fees also are paid. So this dear friends is actually with fully funded scholarship opportunities. And so you can actually look here about traveling expenses where they highlight to say make stipulates the travel schedule and route and provide an airline ticket to grantees who will arrive in Japan during the specified period. And so dear friends, this is a fully funded scholarship opportunity for undergraduates. And so this is a document I highly recommend that those that are looking to study in Japan for these different programs at undergraduate level, you would do well to actually go through this particular document. And so not to worry, I will leave a link to uh, this particular you know, website so that you are able to ac access these different links that I've utilized or that I've prepared to in this particular video. So the first step that you need to do is download that document, then go through it critically and make a submission to the embassy. So now, in terms of the embassy recommendation, again, you can see this is just what I've been talking about to say documents for application at the embassy recommendation. So here they talk about it, application guidelines. And so you want to make sure you go through those application guidelines. And so you can see here that applicants must read through the application guidelines below and follow the instructions. Application form along with the certificate of help and recommendation later should be submitted to the Japanese embassy or consulate general in your country. These documents can then be printed out and filled in by hand, written, typed out, or filled in with software applications and printed out. So this is where that document I was just referring to is. So when you click on that, it will take you to that PDF document that you need to really explore before you start the application process. So that's the first thing that you need to do. And then the next thing is that once you've understood the, what is included in that PDF document, then you can quickly download the application form, complete it, complete the certificate of health, and then uh, make sure you also look at the recommendation letter and ask the people that are supposed to provide those recommendation letters. And once you have those, then you can submit these to the embassy and the embassy can easily be found by looking at this particular link for your respective country or respective region. So that's what you need to do. And then after that, you will need to begin waiting for that nomination. Sometimes you may be called for an interview or you may just be given a direct nomination and then you'll be uh, given permission to proceed with the application process. And so this is one thing that you also need to take note of that you may also need to at some point prepare maybe for an interview and, and things like, like that. So with that, dear friends, I would like to say this is a scholarship opportunity that individuals who are interested for to study abroad at undergraduate level should take advantage of. And if it is not for you, you will do very well to share this scholarship opportunity widely. Share it with all those that may have individuals, relatives that may be looking to study at undergraduate level in Japan abroad. And, you know, the scholarship is fully funded and the programs are quite wide. And so individuals can take advantage of this scholarship opportunity. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, I'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon and select all notifications so that when we upload future videos of this nature, you will be among us the first few people to be notified of these important opportunities that we share on this particular channel, the BMI Care TV community. Become part of the BMI Care TV community. Share this channel widely so that a lot of people can become part of this community and benefit from these scholarship opportunities that we share at this particular channel. 
With that, dear friends, I would like to simply say thank you very much for watching this video. It's bye-bye for now until we meet in yet another exciting video. Thank you.